right, it's time for my favorite weather segment of the week. Of course, it is Weather Whiz Wednesday, where you send me your weather questions and I answer them every Wednesday morning. Anything from climatology to convection to thunderstorms, hurricanes, snowstorms even. I know hopefully we don't have any more snowstorms coming our way. But today's Weather Whiz is Dale. And Dale says he lives on a hill in Hill City. His GPS says we are actually at a higher altitude than Deadwood. Why do they get more snow? Dale, that is an excellent question, and I am just absolutely pumped to answer this one for you. It actually has to do with a couple of factors based on our mountain range that we call the beautiful Black Hills, and of course, wind has a lot to do with it. Wind actually causing a few upslope snow showers this morning. More on that coming up on True View Titan Radar, but this is a wind rose, and this is dating back all the way to 1990, and there is 166,000 wind measurements. So a wind rose will not only point the direction of the wind, but also the frequent magnitude or strength of the wind. And look at, we have a very persistent northwesterly flow, and that is going to be key. Notice not much of a west-southwesterly component. So most of the time, our winds on the stronger side out of the either the north or the north-northwest. And a little factoid here for you, our runway at Rapid City Regional Airport is actually directed at 322 degrees. That's why they call it runway 32, because those planes want these strong headwinds as they're coming in to take off or land. So here we are in the Black Hills. We have the windward side, which is most often the west side of a mountain range. And we have the leeward side, but it's the windward side that gets the lift coming. So we have our winds on the back side of a center of low pressure. As with most winter snowstorms, center of low pressure off to our south. We see the wraparound moisture, that counterclockwise flow on the back side of the low will cause our winds to be out of the north northwest. It can't go through the mountain, it has to go up and over. So we start getting a little condensation as this air cools adiabatically. Relative humidity rises. We start getting some clouds forming, then a little bit of precip, and then finally it all comes dumping down on the highest part of the mountain in the northern hills. So since we don't really have a persistent westerly wind, you in Hill City, the actual alignment of the Black Hills causes those people in the Wyoming Black Hills and northern hills to see heavier snowfall and it actually sticks around a little longer because they tend to have some cooler temperatures than you living in Hill City. So Dale, thank you very much for your question. This was one of my favorites so far and I appreciate it. Keep the weather questions coming to weather at newcenter1.com and maybe I'll answer it next Wednesday.